Hi y'all, it's Skye and thanks for visiting my channel. Welcome to this week's Diamond Art Club sneak peek. Thank you so much Diamond Art Club for sending me this kit to share with you guys and I won't hold you in suspense. I'll show you what it is. It is Flower Wagon by Sandra Bergeron. Let me turn it this way. I think this is going to be the way that it goes. I love it. You guys know I love flowers, so I can't wait to open this up and take a look. So this is Square Drill. It is 29.9 inches by 23.6 inches or 76 by 60 centimeters. So let me get this plastic off of the box and we will look at what is inside. All right. I am going to try to open this box and tell you the release information at the same time. So I'm not very good at multitasking, so we'll see how this goes. So this kit is going to release tomorrow, February the 25th, and that's going to be at 9 a.m. Pacific time or 12 p.m. Eastern time for Diamond and Ruby level members. And 30 minutes later is the general access release. Okay, I, everything's coming out all together. All right, we're just doing it. Okay, let me show you a few things. This is our tool kit, and I'm going to show you what is inside of there. But also, we've got this smaller sticker here, so you can get another look at that gorgeous image. So this is going to show you this same information that we already talked about that was on the front of the box, but this will peel off very easily. I don't know why I was struggling for a second there, but it will peel off. You can put this in your log book. You can put this on the side or the bottom of your box if that helps you with your storage. Then of course, here's the canvas. We are going to look at that much more thoroughly in just a minute, but for now I'm going to unpack this toolkit and show you what is inside. Here is the contents of the toolkit. So the first thing is the this bag of baggies you can use for kitting up or storage. And we've also got our red heart waxes in this container with a lid. And we've got multi-placers. So this is a seven and a four placer if you like multi-placing. And we've got our diamond painting pin with a grippy squishy. Love this color. And it has, I hope you can see the glitter in there. It's so pretty. And the color does vary, so you may not get this color, but all the colors are gorgeous. And now I'm almost to letting it roll off the table. Okay. Next, we have these sharp tweezers with the Diamond Art Club branding. Since this is a square drill kit, we've got the tweezers. We wouldn't get those in a round drill kit, but that is how sharp they are, so be very careful. And then we've got our diamond painting tray with a stopper to keep your drills secure in there. And then our washi. Oh my gosh, is this not perfect for this kit? We've got a pretty floral pattern. Oh, I love that. And I definitely love all of the <laughs> pinks in there. So washi tape is often used around the edges of your canvas that will help keep any kind of thinny dust or pet hair or residue or any type of thing from getting on that little outer edge of glue that sticks outside of the drill field around your canvas. So it'll just keep that tidy. You can also use this to section off your diamond painting if you like to do that. And then we have got this cute little cover minder. I love the little piggy pop. A cover minder has two magnets on the back. You separate them just like that. You will put one magnet underneath your canvas, then pull that plastic cover back and then sit this one over the top. They'll snap together just like that and it'll hold that plastic out of your way. All right, now we can take a look at the canvas and all the other goodies that are inside this bag. I'm going to try to get the drills to come out. Probably not this end. Yes, this end. Okay. Over. Now we are going to look at all of these items. But first, I want to look at the pretty drills all packaged together. I absolutely love 
giving the drills a nice once over so you can take in all the colors together. Beautiful. Oh, before I put that away, let's talk about this sticker here. So Diamond Art Club puts a label on their drill packaging. So if you store your drills and your canvas separately, you'll still be able to match them up. Okay. Then we can look at these other items. This is a thank you booklet. So on the inside here, you've just got some information and some QR codes to scan. This one up here will take you to a video on how to diamond paint. This one will take you to the VIP Facebook group. There is a coupon code in here. And then you have got QR codes here on the back that will take you to the Diamond Art Club app. You just have to select the one that is for your type of phone. And then we have our larger sticker sheet. So now we get to look at this beautiful image a little bit bigger. I'm loving it even more. So this is going to have the same information as that smaller sticker, except this has a start and an end date. So this might be even better for your logbook so you could track your progress there. And over here we can see that we have 56 colors. And we can look at the color code and any one of these numbers that is under 150, we know that that is an AB. So we've got four ABs in this kit and we will look at that much more thoroughly in a minute. I do want to show you that these peel off individually so that you can put them on the drill containers when you're kitting up. Okay, it's time for the big reveal of the canvas. Let's see, I have not got it going the right way. Let's try this. Oh my goodness. Like so much color just in this one little section. And I think that as usual, I'm going to have a difficult time getting it all in the frame, but don't worry, I'm gonna show you the whole thing. Oh my goodness, I'm trying to let you take it in. Oh, those flowers. Oh, I love them. I love them so much. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is flip this over and roll it backwards. That's just going to help it lay flatter. You can see the edges are still a little bit curling, but it's already well on its way to flattening out. Diamond Art Club canvases are self-flattening, so if I just let this sit here for a few more minutes, I wouldn't have to roll it. But since I don't want you guys to have to sit here and wait for it to flatten out on its own, I am gonna flip it over and roll it. And since this is a poured glue canvas, that's not going to hurt it at all. And I think I'll also just give you guys a nice pan over and let you see the whole thing in one frame. I am super impressed with the detail on this. There's so much happening. Now, I do think that is going to lend itself to this being a confetti heavy piece. If I can just quickly show you some of the busier sections. I do think there's going to be quite a bit of confetti. There are, uh, some notable blocking sections like this corner here and then there is a bit of blocking up there in the top corner but everything else I feel like is I would almost say heavy confetti I mean I've seen heavier but it's it's got a lot of detail and so it's gonna have a lot of confetti but it looks like it's going to work up just absolutely stunning Okay, the next thing we are going to do is look at all of the drills and we are going to look at them one by one. So if you don't like this part, I will have a timestamp or a chapter down below where you can skip to the next part, which is where we will look at where the ABs go. 
two bags of 580, 300, 37.47, two bags of 934, three bags of 827, and two bags of 519, 141. So this is our first AB. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And hopefully you can see that there is a special coating on these drills that give them an iridescent shine, which I think is picking up. Let me show you this bag here of regular drills. And they have a very pretty sparkle, but these have a different quality. I love them. Okay, 841 and two bags of 935. 775, two bags of 310, 840, 3818, two bags of 471, 3782, two bags of 3371, 817, 3819, 132. So this is our next a B that's pretty orange and right beside it we've got 107 so that's our third a B so you can see both of those together very nice and then 498 700 341 154 two bags of 772 I really love this soft green 301 340 100. So this is our last AB, a very nice green. I kind of expected there to be a green, so I'm glad to see it. 3834, 742, two bags of 581, two bags of 898, 947, 730, two bags of 890, Two bags of 938, 782, 814, 702, 740, 832, 818, 414, 155, 3033, 704, 402, 3746, 3740, 744, 3835, 452, 333, 3836, 833, and 451. All right, that was all the drills. So if you have skipped to here, then welcome back. We are going to look at where the ABs go. I have got them all separated from their strands so we can look at them and one thing I have noticed just at a glance is that none of these ABs are in blocks they are all just spread all over the place so we are going to take quite the tour of this canvas to check out where these ABs go so let me start with the first one which is the green why don't i hmm, that maybe it wasn't a good idea to try to hold them all we'll start with this one the green which is 100 and this one you know you there's a lot of green here so it won't be shocking to you to know that the green is all over the place but it is this lighter color you see that number one symbol there that is the green AB and it is just sprinkled just all around through here and up here. I mean, there is tons of it in very small amounts. So I know that pointing every little bit of it out is going to make us all be here all day long. So I'm just trying to give you an idea that right there of what to look for if you are curious as to how that AB is used. It looks like it is just a nice bright highlight in some sections. 
There is, there is some down here as well. So it is quite, quite widespread over the canvas. So I hope I've given you an idea. I don't want to point at every little confetti pop of it because of that. I feel like that might not be too interesting to watch. So we will go on to the next AB, which is this 107, the red AB. And of course, there are only a few sections with red on this canvas, so it shouldn't be too hard for us to find. But again, it is not going to be blocks. So we'll start looking down here in these red flowers. And look, you, you can just see just a few here. Just some little pops of color. So basically this is, while this is not going to have huge blocks of AB, it looks like there's enough AB sprinkled over this canvas that it's going to shine everywhere. So that is exciting. I can't wait to get started. Still pointing out some of these twos here. And then I will move up. It does look like there's a few little pops of that two right there. And then we'll go up here to this big section at the top and see what we can find. It looks about the same as that bottom section of red flowers. It is just in there to give these some extra shine, extra texture, just all throughout. Looks like every single one of these little flowers has some of that AB, some more than others, but it is it's all over this section here. Okay, and I think we're gonna see something similar with the third AB, which is this 132. And this one, I have seen a few <laughs> threes as we were looking at the red AB. So this one is going to be sprinkled down here as well. But then also it, it, the center of these white flowers is orangey, so we've, we're going to see some of those ABs throughout these flowers as well. So lots of orange, and then let's let's just go ahead and check up here because I'm sure we're going to find some. Let's look at these red flowers. Yep. So some of these red flowers will have that AB in the center there. And then let's see, yes, okay. So I think these little flowers over here may be like the strongest section of orange AB. It looks like that it's pretty well dispersed through here. Okay, that means we are on to the last AB, which is the white AB 141. And this one is as expected going to be found in these white flowers. So a good, a good bit of that AB in these flowers. I guess this is probably the close to a block of AB that we would see on this whole canvas. It's just all over every one of these white flowers where I guess where the sun is hitting it, it's going to have some white AB, just tons and tons. That was a pretty large bag, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but just all throughout there. And then I think there was a couple of other sections. Yes, here's one. <laughs> I knew there were more white flowers. So we've got some of that for through here as well. And then, whoops, I'm sorry I bumped you there. It looks like there's just a little highlight of it, if I can get it on the screen, right there. And possibly more. But that is what I found of the ABs. I, I'm sure you can see how I might have missed some with the way that these are dispersed, but I think it's going to look absolutely beautiful once it's worked up. 
Okay, you guys, that is it from me. Now, of course, don't forget that this one is going to release tomorrow. So if you've got your eye on it, be sure you are ready at your release time to be able to grab it. And thank you again to Diamond Art Club for sending me this kit. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!